A Russian soldier threw a grenade into the headquarters where Russian invaders from the Storm Z unit were sleeping in order to cross over to the Ukrainian side. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense reported this on social media as a result of the successful operation of the I Want to Live project and the Freedom of Russia Legion called Kamish, a serviceman of the Russian army blew up the headquarters of the officers of the Storm Z battalion and went over to the Ukrainian side, the statement said. In particular, according to intelligence, in the winter, a Russian FPV pilot with the call sign Silver contacted the Freedom of Russia Legion and expressed a desire to cooperate with Ukraine. He explained that he was prompted to do so by the systematic military and other crimes of his command, including extrajudicial executions, beatings and extortion. At the same time, as part of interaction with Russian servicemen, Ukraine was able to obtain valuable intelligence data on the location, numbers and intentions of the enemy in a specific direction of the front, as the main intelligence directorate notes. Further, at a convenient moment, Silver threw a grenade into the ventilation hole of the basement of the headquarters of the occupation unit Storm Z, where his battalion commander and other Russian officers were sleeping. There were about 15 people in the basement. In this room, there was a pipe right above the bed where the battalion commander slept. It went out onto the street next to the entrance and we decided to throw a grenade or two into this pipe so that they would explode next to them, Silver said. However, when the deed was done, the Russian escaped along a pre-arranged route and crossed into territory controlled by Ukraine. The main intelligence directorate emphasizes that now the Russian volunteer has become a recruit of the Freedom of Russia Legion in order to fight the criminal Putin regime. Earlier in April 2024, a Russian with the call sign Goga set fire to the premises of the small missile ship Serpukov in the city of Baltisk, Kaliningrad region. He was a serviceman of the Baltic fleet with access to state secrets. In December 2023, he contacted the Freedom of Russia Legion. The FBI and U.S. intelligence agencies have confirmed Iran was responsible for recent attempted hacks into the Trump and Biden-Harris presidential campaigns, the agencies said in a joint statement. We have observed increasingly aggressive Iranian activity during this election cycle, said a statement by the FBI, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which oversees the defense of government computer systems. This includes the recently reported activities to compromise former President Trump's campaign, which the attributes to Iran, they said. The hacking and similar activities, federal officials said, reflect Iran's determination to complicate the ability of any U.S. administration to pursue a foreign policy at odds with its own interests. The goal is to sow discord, weaken faith in democratic institutions and influence the outcome of elections that Iran perceives to be particularly consequential in terms of the impact they could have on its national security interests, officials said. Iran, the U.S. statement said, had also targeted the campaign of Harris, who will formally accept the Democratic Party's presidential nomination at this week's convention. Iran's mission to the United Nations issued a statement calling the allegations unsubstantiated and devoid of any standing and challenged Washington to release evidence for the claim. As we have previously announced, the Islamic Republic of Iran harbors neither the intention or the motive to interfere with the U.S. presidential election, the mission said. The statement was released at a time of significant tensions between Washington and Tehran as the U.S. hopes to halt or limit a threatened threatened retaliatory strike on Israel over the assassination of Hamas official Ismail Haniyeh.